and the TV20 News team. Good evening. It's a rule that is intended to stop littering, but some Gainesville residents call it absurd. Posting a flyer on a utility pole or lamp is some people facing court time and going to, possibly going to jail. TV20's Mary Zegers joins us with more on this issue. Mary? Well, Paige and Ed, coming down University Avenue, you can't help but notice these advertisements taped up on lamp posts and utility poles advertising everything from upcoming events to the latest items for sale. But did you know if you get caught taping one of these up, you could face a $500 fine and 60 days in jail? Two men charged with violating code 172 find out today their trial will take place at the end of August. Howard Rosenfeld is dumbfounded at the charges of flyering. And I could be considered a criminal in some people's eyes, but putting up a flyer is something that I do to promote um, the artistic and cultural and social events in this town. But city officials say it also promotes litter. I don't think it makes the city look messy. I think it makes the city look vibrant and alive, like we actually have, we have a culture here. Civic Media Center members carry signs down University Avenue today in protest of the ordinance. The group even posted up sarcastic signs of their own. They say it's public property, and they believe the law is unfair. We think that the law discriminates against people who couldn't advertise, couldn't afford to advertise, say, on television or on the radio or in newspapers. We think it's fair. It's uh, not aimed to be discriminatory toward anyone. It's aimed to uh, uh, protect the environment of the city. According to the code, announcing your yard sale on a pole like this is considered illegal. But Coca-Cola announced the arrival of the Olympic torch down 441 on many poles. The group calls that unfair. The city calls it different. Those were uh, designating the route of the torch run, so uh, they were more or less a parade route designation sign and not true advertising signs. So what's the solution to all this mess? Well, the city staff is working on plans to build a kiosk, a place where people for free can come and display their public notices, and then they can keep the litter under control. Meanwhile, a judge will decide the fines for those already charged on August 21st and the 28th. Reporting live in Gainesville, Mary Zegers, TV20 News. All right, thanks, Mary. Well, the man